Hey, what's going on, guys? I've got a free pick for you. Friday, college football week four action between Tulane and Houston. Um, <clears throat> Houston is a four and a half point underdogs. We're five point underdogs. I like them in at four and a half, though. So we're going to go with that as the pick. I think Houston's going to go out and win this game outright uh, against Tulane. Now, I think a lot of people are looking at this as a short week. It's a game on Friday night, so they don't get the full week to prepare and to rest up. Houston's coming off of a really close game against Washington State where all their starters played 110% and played throughout the fourth quarter, of course. And then Tulane beat up on a lesser opponent, Missouri State, last week. So their guys really got to rest the whole second half of that game. Um, and then what else? What is also adding value to Tulane is a lot of people were impressed with how they held Bo Nix and that Auburn offense to 24 points in a 24 to six loss. Now, what I'm looking at, obviously Auburn's a defensive SEC team, um, but what I'm looking at is Tulane only put up two field goals. So the reason Auburn might have slowed down in that game is because they weren't really pushed. They didn't really need to. They're up 24 to six. They don't really need to score another touchdown. Uh, but nonetheless, to hold a top 10 team to 24, okay. And when you're a non-Power 5 school, okay, that can be seen as kind of a, a moral victory there. I'll give them that. But in my opinion, I was high on Bo, Bo Nix, of course, going into the, the uh, Oregon game. We got that win off of his clutch game-winning touchdown pass. And that's really where he made a name for himself in that huge primetime victory where he threw the touchdown pass when they could have just kicked a field goal. But if you look at that throw, I was thankful for it because we needed that for the cover. A field goal would have lost the game for us. But it was an underthrown ball, and it was almost like they caught the safety off guard where he wasn't really ready for that play. There's no excuse. That safety should have been ready. I don't know if it was the, the heat of the moment and the pressure of the situation or what, but the ball, the pass was underthrown. Um, and look, Bo is a phenomenal freshman. That guy's huge. He's a full-grown man as a true freshman, and he's a stud, and I'm sure he'll be a superstar for Auburn this season and years to come. Um, but Auburn's offense didn't impress me too much to where I'm going to give Tulane too much kudos for holding them to 24 and a 24-6 loss. And we'll say that. You look at Houston, uh, Houston coming off of a close game that I think could have gone either way against Washington State, a top 25 um, program and a, a, a Pac-12 Power 5 school. Um, I think really because they lost that game, that's why they're slight underdogs in this game, which is weird because it's a coin toss game that could go either way. If they come out and win that game by one or win by a field goal, right, which they easily could have if you watch the game, and then all of a sudden they're three-point favorites against Tulane. So for us, it puts value on Houston because we know that game could have gone either way last week. And because they're a one and two team going up against a two and one team, um, obviously there's more that goes into it than that, but it's, it's putting, it, I think that's a big reason for why Houston's the underdog because they didn't get it done in a close game. Tulane, I, I have them uh, much further down than Washington State in my power ranking. So I think if Houston's nearly beating Washington State, I think they take care of Tulane, uh, no problems. And the big thing for me is look at these two teams last year. I think a lot of people giving out their opinions online and, and putting out free picks and hopefully not premium plays on this game if they haven't watched the matchup last year. But uh, go back, watch the highlights at least. You know, spend five or ten minutes watching the highlights of the game last year. Tulane versus Houston, it was late in the season. The thing about Houston last year was they kind of, you know, they, they rode it in early last year. Their season kind of collapsed on them. High expectations coming in. And in the second half, you had Ed Oliver refusing to play because he wanted to be healthy for the NFL draft. He was just an old, he was like the ultimate distraction for this program, get in and fights with the coaches on the sidelines and things like that. Um, but Houston still handled Tulane easy last year. They won 48 to 17, and they rushed for 298 yards. Um, both quarterbacks are back this year for both programs, so I expect a similar result to last year where Houston just dominated this matchup. And I know it was in Houston last year. Now it's a home game for Tulane, uh, so maybe it's a little bit closer. Tulane's feeling good about themselves, 2-1. and one. Their one loss is against a top-10 team. Um, and although... 
Houston was overmatched against Oklahoma. Their offense put up points against OU. They got the backdoor cover in that game. That was a premium play for us as well. Um, but I think that uh, I think that Houston's going to win this game outright, guys. I really do. But I'm taking the points just to be safe. That way, if it's a close game, if Houston, you know, plays the whole game with the lead and gives up a come from behind loss or something like that, or even if Houston goes out and and I'm completely wrong and they're overmatched and Tulane has a 10 point lead um, in the last five minutes, maybe we can get the backdoor cover because four and a half points is definitely significant in a close game that a lot of people have projected to finish around 24 to 28 points scored by either which team. Uh, so I believe Houston's winning this game outright. I'm taking Houston plus the four and a half points. That's your free pick. To Eric King, baby, he's going to get it done for us again. He got that backdoor cover against Oklahoma week one. And we're going back to Houston um, in college football week four to get it done again, uh, plus the four and a half points against Tulane on Friday night. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it, I appreciate it so much. Follow me over on Instagram, at BetWithJames, and then check out my website, sbenation.com. After I upload this, I'm going to go over there and put some day package options on there for you. But if you want to hop on um, the day or the week package for college football or NFL, it's 25 bucks each, $50 all access for the full week. Just DM me on Instagram if you're interested in that. The best value, though, is to get the full season. Uh, you can get it's 300 for each or 500 for both. But you can get $100 off if you use code 100 off, all caps. So 100. OFF, all caps. Save yourself $100 at checkout. Thank you guys. Have a great day and best of luck with your bets.